Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I am going to show you step by step how to create a Spring Boot project in a Spring Tools Suit ID and we will also see how to create a simple REST API. Ok, so I assume that you have already installed a Spring Tools Suit ID on your machine. If you haven't installed then check out there is a video on this channel to install the Spring Tools Suit ID 4. Ok, just open the Spring Tools Suit ID and in order to create a Spring Boot project go to the file menu and choose new and here select spring starter web and notice here the spring initializer integration well basically the spring initializer is already integrated with spring tool suit id4 so we don't have to go to the spring initializer website and create a spring boot project and import that project in a spring tool suit id the spring initializer is already integrated in spring tool suit 4 so we can create a spring boot project using spring initializer in this spring tool suit itself okay so here let us go ahead and fill up the project details. So let us give the project name as Spring Boot Demo and keep the use default location. So this is the location where this Spring Boot project will store. Next let us select the project type. So here let us choose Marvin as a project type and keep packaging as a jar and let us select the Java version 23. So as of now the latest version of Java is 23. So let us choose Java 23 over here. And here let us choose the programming language Java. You can choose Kotlin Groovy, but in our case we are going to choose Java. Next let us give group ID as net.javagits. You can give any group ID that you want. Next art artifact ID is same as the project name. So let us keep as it is. Next let us give description as demo project for Spring Boot and package net.javagits.springboot. Perfect. Next go ahead and click on this next button over here and here we need to choose the dependency as we are building a REST API in a Spring Boot project so we need to choose Spring Web de Dependency over here. So just go ahead and select Spring Web Dependency. Ok that's it. Next here we have a Spring Boot version. So this is the latest and stable version of Spring Boot as of now that is 3.4.0. Next go ahead and click on next button and then click on finish. Ok next go to the you know src main java package net.javagates.springboot within this package we have a spring boot main entry point class so this is a main entry point class in a spring boot project that we can use to run the spring boot application and you can see here this class is annotated with add spring boot application annotation and this class has a main method so from this main method we can run the spring boot application okay next let us go ahead and build the simple rest api so right click on this package new and then choose class and here let us give class name as welcome controller next let us annotate this class with at rest controller annotation so this annotation we use to make the class as a spring rest controller next let me expand this Within this class, let us build a simple REST API. So here just type public and then let us give return type as a string and then give method name as welcome and let us have a return statement over here, return welcome to your first Spring Boot project in STS something like that next let us make this method as a rest api by annotating this method with at get mapping annotation and let us give the url let us say greeting okay so this is our simple rest api perfect next let us go ahead and run the spring boot application and let us test this rest api so go to the main entry point class over here and just right click on this class run as java application the spring boot application is basically running in a embedded tomcat server on port 8080 next let us go ahead and test the rest api so go to the browser in a new tab just type localhost 8080 slash greeting and hit enter and there we go you can see the response of the rest api so let me recap what we have done in this video 
we have created a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer in a Spring 2 suit ID and we have built a simple REST API to test the Spring Boot project in a Spring 2 suit ID.